Joe Shockett. I'm uh, co-founded a company called CodeSpark. We've, uh, we're down in Pasadena. We've been in business about three years. Uh, I demoed the Foos a couple years ago, and when it was a much smaller app, it has now become CodeSpark Academy with the Foos. And in October, we released it as a subscription product, and then we still give away the product completely free to uh, public schools and libraries and organizations and the Breteau Foundation and, and places like that. Uh, so today I'm not going to demo the whole game, um, but we have a new expansion that no one has seen before other than tens of thousands of kids because we released it a couple days ago. Uh, but we start kids out with uh, these fun puzzle levels. I can just do one to give you a sense. So what we're teaching or introducing is computer science to kids as young as uh, four, five, six, seven years old. And, um, did you do this because it was just donut day yesterday? Or did it, <laughs> yes, and I did get some donuts yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Is this from the original things? Yes, yeah, so the, the original game uh, was just, I'm trying to get some audio, was just these simple puzzle levels. And it's block-based coding. Um, I can change parameters. Uh, we're really light with wrong answers. We don't put up a big buzzer. Um, we just give you the chance to either start the level over or fix it. But if you don't get it quite right, you do lose a star. So there's incentive to go back and try to do it correctly. So we have, we have now over 50 puzzles, um, a bunch of different chapters. We're going to keep adding those. Uh, we have a game maker where kids can go in and create their own video games. Uh, we have the lucky um, thing in coding that when kids ask, when am I ever going to use this? Uh, the immediate answer is, well, you can build video games, and that's pretty cool. <laughs> so uh, what we released this week is Pet Pals, and this introduces the concept of automation. Kids are going to grow up in a world where lots of the jobs, lots of their daily life is automated. Their cars are going to drive themselves. And so we were thinking, what would be a fun play pattern? We don't like putting coding first. We like introducing coding as a tool to do something more powerful than you could have done without it. Um, and the game maker is a creative coding area. This is a place where you can use coding to kind of take care of the stuff that you don't want to do. It's fun to feed pets and pet them and play with toys. It's not as much fun to like pick up the poop and you know pick up the the hair off the floor. So we go in, this is our moment of stillness. Here in the bedroom. The pets are asleep. I like that interface. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had a visitor pet come today. This goat is a visitor. This is the pet care center. I'm gonna choose um, Fluffy the cat here. And go in, and so our day has started. And like a lot of pet apps, I can tap them. I can go and feed them. Looks like he likes carrots. I can um, Any put like up. legs on that? No, no, no legs. Keeps production time animation? down. <laughs> and makes them super cute. If you know like Tsum Tsums from Disney. And, yeah. Um, I can pet him and he likes that. The goats are really hungry. Um, they have likes and dislikes. Although goats, I think, like everything. And so the kids have a lot of fun with just playing with their pets, but we've intentionally balanced the game so that after a couple times in, it gets really hard to take care of them yourself. And that's where the, the foos come in. And so if I ever tap on a foo, the whole game pauses, and you have a moment to think about, hmm, how could I have them help me? And I'll pretend like that wasn't in there. They start out with no code in there. And I can say, well, you know what? Um, help me pick up the poop. And so the next time that you know she sees some poop, she's gonna, I'll, I'll tap on her, you can actually see the code run. But she only did it once. And so as it gets more advanced, I can actually click on her and put that inside of the loop. And I can tell the loop to run one, two, three, four, five, or infinite times, I'll do infinite. I can also tell her uh, to feed the pets and help me with that. And so she's just gonna run. And now I can concentrate on kind of the fun things again. So coding is not getting in my way, it's actually helping me, it's a superpower. It's letting me do better better and bigger things with, uh, with my pet care center. I can take out a ball and 
drag that around. They like chasing them around. And you'll see in the top left here, there's a day-night timer. So each day in Pet World is about two minutes. I can do any of these activities um, by myself as well. I can drag the food in. Um, I can actually clean up the food myself. I can put food in the and um, little trays here. And so she's helping me take care of these pets now. Let's uh, try to get up. There we go. Now it's the end of the day. We'll see how well did. People come back and pick up their pets that they dropped off. And now I have a little summary screen of how well I did. Oh, Fluffy's not very happy. Uh, it'll get to Fluffy. There it goes, Fluffy. And I get gifts if I did well. If I coded well and balanced, it, eventually you get four pets, you get two or three helpers, and it gets more and more challenging, and you go into the next day. So that's Pet Pals. Uh, we consider this kind of version one. So if you see things you like, if you see things you think we could do better, we are continually expanding and improving on the game. How much does it cost? So the subscription, the monthly is $7.99 a month, and we have deep discounts for you know annual and lifetime and, and, and that. Do the kids get to hear that it's Alex Narky Cook? Uh, you mean like voicing the names? We don't. We don't. We, we've actually tried to put as few words in the game as possible uh, so that we don't have to do localization and so that it works across the world immediately. But the naming of the pets was something that was really important when we tested with kids. We tested kids all the time, and they just love uh, the, the name picker. Mm -hmm. But there's so many names in here, it would, yeah, we, we don't verbalize them. What's your age? The age is five to eight, kind of early elementary. We have some four-year-olds that play it, but they don't get all the way into the advanced stuff. And we have some nine and ten-year-olds that play, but they go a little quicker. So when you showed the game, it's got the word automation underneath it? Right. And do you do you verbalize that? I couldn't tell. Um, we don't. We don't. Um, we actually didn't even used to have all those labels. Uh, it was important to put them in kind of for the school and classroom use. And so that, frankly, we've done research and we've had a couple of universities do research that shows that the puzzles are indeed teaching sequencing. Yeah, they are. But the parents didn't necessarily know that unless we labeled it. Right, right, right. And, you know, so it's yeah. more for the parents That's than the, the kids. the parents or the teachers. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. yeah. So these are all labeled with events and conditionals. And, but that's for the adults. Okay. Do you have a sense of how much of your audience is in school or in some kind of educational context? Right. Um, yeah. It depends on the time of year, but roughly half and half. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and, and the home, the school use translates into this case. You mean, you mean the kids are playing in both? How do you, how do you know? Um, we do surveys. Oh, okay. um, we do, yeah, we do a lot of surveys and, and look at it that way. Uh, we so, talk to teachers all the time. So we they get it for free at school and then they talk to parents into having it at home? Yeah, or over the summer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. And we only need about, you know, one or two percent to take it home and purchase it and then we can stay in business. Yeah. Nice. That's you cool. want lasers? Sure. Lasers would be great. Yeah, lasers on the new well, feature. A lot of these are from the original. Right. The... Right, yeah. The, um... And then you have like a couple more. The ones. police and the construction uh, were the two original back when we were like a two person team. What about and the ninja? The ninja was a suggestion from kids in a Pasadena elementary school, so we built it for them. They're phenomenal. Um, I, I mean, like, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, we have tens of thousands of schools doing So, are we doing Duster Magic? Duster Magic Just in Duster. general, it looks like you've got something there, yeah. my friend. Mm -hmm. Kind of sweet. Sweet. Yeah, it's, uh, it's sweet nines. Thank you. Nice. Congratulations. Mm -hmm.